What an absolutely fantastic day to be using the wagon. Telling all wait for today, very, very excited. But first of all, and before we go and lift our barley and grass, we have to take some tires off the pit so that as soon as the grass has been merged together, we're just gonna go straight into um, putting it in silage. Another name for this crop is also whole crop. You can call it barley and grass, or you can call it whole crop. Um, but yeah, my dad's just started to lift the whole crop and I am absolutely starving because it is 12 o'clock and I have nothing to eat. So I'm gonna go in and I'll see you after when, after I've had my lunch. Back after lunch, feeling refreshed again. We realized before lunch that there isn't enough room um, in the second cut clamp to put all of this whole crop. So we're gonna have to take a few more tires and sheet off the first cut clamp so we can um, put a bit of it in there as well because there's more than we thought and we need somewhere to put it. This is what I'm talking about here. A lot of stuff there yet to go in. So what we're gonna do is just take up a few, a few of these tires off so we can start to put it along this as well. to open the first cut clamp to start to put it in there at the front of it and then we're gonna have to come out a good six or seven meters I would say because we've got another good seven or eight loads so I'll go back down to the field get a bit of action with this 64.99 working again on the wagon <laughs> Another seven good loads I think should finish it. It's very, very slow because there's the crop is that thick and the swords are at least three foot tall that it just makes it really, really hard for the wagon especially 
to lift it quickly so you just have to go a nice slow pace so it doesn't block up um, and then that means that we can get it in our manitou that isn't really designed for buck raking pit silage isn't coping with it very well um, at that speed and that amount of stuff so I think I'm just gonna hop in the new hole and give it a bit of a roll so that there's two people on the pit or well, two people on two different pits so that um, we can keep the new holland rolling and make sure it's compacting the whole crop nicely for winter time. so it's taken quite a while to roll it all my dad's just doing this corner here so it's nice and rolled It's actually four weeks since I filmed the video that you've just seen and we've opened the clump that we put it in so I thought I'd just show you it while I'm round at the clump here so here it is so this is our barley and grass on top here and you can just see the wee grains of barley in there and also the stalks of barley and a bit of grass in through it oh there's a better um, seed of barley and then there's the stalks. But yeah, it worked really well. We're currently feeding it to the dry cows. It also smells lovely, which is great. So these here are the dry cows. It is currently the 7th of September, so that's why they're inside, because they will be having a calf soon. Won't you? Yep. So what we're feeding them at the minute is the barley on the grass. So you, you can see that is there. That's it there, mixed in with a bit of silage, nuts, and also a few minerals and vitamins. They're all coming to check it out now. But yeah, that is what we're feeding them at the minute. They all seem to be enjoying it a lot. And it's also good nutritious food for them before they calve. So that's really good. This is the field of barley and grass four weeks after we cut it. So what you would have seen in today's video was us lifting it off this field and this is what it looks like four weeks later thank you very much for watching i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did make sure to like and subscribe it really helps the channel grow from me and the calves 
We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.